Well, there's nothing better than having Rocco Despirito here, cooking up a soup that will definitely become one of your fall staples. He's also taking part in the New York City Wine and Food Festival, and we are excited to get, get all the details from him. So good to see you. I yeah, it's, it's great here. to be here. I always love cooking for you because you love everything I make. I do love yeah. everything. <laughs> How could I not, though, Rocco? You are the Tell best to cook for. So today. we're making a, a keto chicken and dumpling soup. I know that sounds completely counterintuitive, but it, it <laughs> well, is possible. I love that, though, because I love yeah. that you can take things that sound like comfort food and they're really bad for you and then you can make them healthy. Yeah, so that's my that job. Here? That's my job. So in the in the keto world, we get rid of carbs, right? So this yeah. soup only has 13% uh, net carbs. It's mostly protein, mostly fat. And we make it with uh, a regular mirepoix, just yeah. like you would for chicken soup. Uh, onions, carrots, celery, garlic gets chopped up, goes yeah. into a pot, into the pot and boils. The nut and seed bread, I love that. The nut and seed bread, don't forget that, yeah. yeah. We finish this with heavy cream. That's how we make it rich and, you know, sort of soul satisfying for the fall that's coming up. Yep. Um, and we make dumplings with, get this, as I know it's crazy, but it's keto, yeah. mozzarella, cream cheese, almond flour, and an egg. And that's oh. the, those are the ingredients for the dumplings, and that's why they're keto friendly and really, really low carb. I'm gonna eat this while you talk to yeah, me about no the problem. New York City yeah. Wine and Food Festival. Yeah, okay, I will, so this for is the sure. 14th, four, er, 15th annual, 15th annual Food Network, New York City, Wine and Food yes. Festival. Such a long yeah. thing, but we got it all in. What do you love about being part of this festival? So the, the best part of the festival, of course, is raising money for people in need. So we've raised $14 million over the years for, right, it's not bad, right? That's so good. That's, I have one tiny little. I love your that. yum like, face. It's the best. Yeah, it really makes, it makes me want to go back and keep cooking. Uh, so we've raised $14 million over the years. Yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible. In New York City, we donate the money to uh, God's Love We Deliver this year, but uh, Food Bank for New York City, uh, other yeah. people in need, and uh, you know, I've seen the work that they do, it's, it, it's incredible. But the best part for me is I get to meet people who love what I do, love other chefs. We get to have yeah. uh, dinner and drinks and time and fun times with other chefs yeah. who are here. I gotta get over there, I yeah. gotta get some tickets. But there's there's 85 events over the yes. course of four days. Um, it's, there's a lot of Food Network personalities, a lot yes, of chefs there. For sure. Yours is already sold out, uh -huh. but yeah. what are some other other ones that we should be excited for. Yeah, so there's a vegan dinner with JJ Johnson, uh, with Lulu Vanderpool. There's a, a dinner with Michael White, uh, with Alan Allegretti. There's so there's still some that are not sold out, which is unusual because these events yeah. usually so, sell out very quickly. Uh, there's Burger Bash. There, you know, there's so many wonderful things. Andrew Zimmerman will be in town. Yeah. And, yeah, Aaron Sanchez, and you know, all all of our favorite chefs from Food Network will be here. Yeah, and like you said, this is so 100% of the net proceeds. Right. Are, are giving back to God's Love We Deliver. That's right, right. $14 million. Yeah, over the years, $14 yeah. million. Dollars. Yeah, and as you know, God's Love We Deliver is a local New York char charity that uh, finds homebound people who, who can't go out and, and find food and, yeah. and make a living for themselves and uh, gets them the, the, the necessary food, supplies, and just support That's that they need. like checking in on people. Yes, too. for sure. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just to get back to the soup for a second. Yeah. I, I don't you guys didn't see when I was here. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Yeah, she was just talking. She gave up this. She gave up that. She gave up the other. Well, that's, I, it wasn't that's because I was allergic. <laughs> I was like, I, was I like, can oh. still eat it because I, I know I get dairy and gluten and cheese, you know, the whole but thing. But I love that you make exceptions for my I food. I make exceptions mm -hmm. for you. But listen, where can we get the recipe for this soup? So this is soup in, is this in. I have this cookbook. It's in uh, the Keto Comfort um, Diet Book. Yeah. That was my last published cookbook. So it's in there. If you go online, it's online. I post the recipes on my IG all the time. Always posting recipes on IG. You can see it's got all the warmth and deliciousness of a fall soup. No, it's got everything I need in this moment and, and more. Um, but you just did a, cook, a kids series too. What, tell me about yes. the kids series. So fun. I've been wanting to do a kids cookbook and a kids cooking show for years. Me too. We should do one together. That would be really fun. <laughs> that would be the way to make it like blow it over. Um, it's called Kid Chef and the first season is Kid Chef Bakes and that's Mackenzie mm -hmm. and that's Fedor and they are two 10 year olds who are so much fun to cook with. I love it because they don't know the kitchen's dangerous yet. So <laughs> they're know. willing to try anything, willing to do I anything. Like that yeah, show. it's amazing. Oh, so much and fun. And you can see it on all the OTT networks. I love it. Well, be sure to follow Rocco on social media and at his website, RoccoDespirito.com. And for tickets to the New York City Wine and Food Festival, visit nycwff.org. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank for you. Me. Thanks for trying the soup.